Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today I am going to to have uh, dis discuss the uh, care about the uh, carnivorous bromeliad, which which is called the Brachinia reducta. To give you guys a closer up. Okay, I'm filming inside the the terrarium because I put it so far back. Um, I've uh, I had this. Uh, Carnivorous brum 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 now for several months, and I've uh, discovered that this bromeliad is actually pretty easy to uh, grow if you keep things consider it uh, consider some things in mind. Is that these guys are from South America? They they come from the the Tapuis um, Mountains, and they share the same range as the of um, Heliumphora, which is the South American uh, pitcher plant. Um, and so if um, these guys. Um, have only recently been dis been uh, discovered to be carnivorous since uh, 2005, and before that, that time, um, scientists have been speculating about about the pos possibilities about some uh, bromeliads uh, possibly being carnivorous because of um, they can have the same pitfall trap as uh, pitcher plants can, um, and of um, in their studies. They found that um, some brum as this one in particular, actually uh, shares does of um, release one enzyme, which is used by by carnivorous plants to of um, break break down down their uh, insect prey. The way they uh, lure insects to to themselves is of um, just just like uh, any good carnivorous plant would of um, they they entice the their insect prey to uh, come to them with the allures of like sweet nectar, sweet scents. However, if you were to touch the inside of these leaves here, you'll get like a waxy substance on on your fingers. And of what actually happens is of um, when the insect lands feed feeds on of. Um, uh, on the sub substance the uh, brum bromeliad um, produces um, the there's a waxy sub substance it's going to crumble under through the insect's weight and it's going to plummet into to the um, bottom where where that like of um, any like just like any other pit pitfall fall trap the insect cannot um, escape from it's stuck the if, um, insect drowns drowns and the plant slowly uh, re releases its enzymes and begins to break the insect down as far as care of these guys go of um, I found out that that a common if you can use just just use a regular um just just use a regular um Nepenthes mix which I use is which considers of spang of spang of uh, spangnum of it, but of excuse me, long fibered sphagnum moss, perlite, and of um orchid bark works of um really well. And these guys like it moist but not soggy. But these guys do come from a um, rain desert like the um, helium fora does. The of um Brachinia reducta is is of um one of three um carnivorous bromeliads. Um Two, uh, there's another one that grows alongside the same range, but the other one, I think, requires like uh, bacteria to break down its prey. It still lures insects in, like of any, but just like anything, thing else. And the other one is, I forget what the other one's called, but I think it relies on some type of other means of di digesting their um, their their prey down. Um, I'm just focusing mainly on this this one here be because I currently have it. In my uh, collection, and just like um, any other brum bromeliad, besides it being carnivorous, is that once it gets big enough, um, it will produce uh, pups, pups um, which are uh, baby plants along the side sides of the mother plant. And of over time, the mother plant will die, and the pups will uh, take take her place. To save the mother plant, I, I heard that you can actually dig, just 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 uproot the mother plant, and uh, Divide the pups from from her to actually um, save the mother plant, and if um, you have you have more plants, and the mother plant will produce more pups, so that way you can have more uh, plants that way. And you also might want to top and just just top water this this one this this one here because of that it's still a brum bromeliad carnivorous or not. And so if um and so if I just keep it water and just just uh, 
give it distilled water, rain water, or RO water, just just like if I any other carnivorous plant, plant with which I've dis discussed thus thus far, and so if um, that should have uh, covered the uh, carnivorous bromeliad, and if you have any um, questions or comments or concerns, just of a drop, just just of a drop, drop a comment, give me a like, and of a consider subscribing. And I will see you next time.